Puck drop back down low. Todd Burgess, the big man from Phoenix, Arizona, out to center. The shot saved as going to the pillows two minutes and nine seconds in is Gavin Nieto. And Mike, you know, we started to talk about the injury bug biting the Bears. They're still without Chris Berger. His, uh, his time this season has been limited. A lot of face-offs for nine minutes of hockey. The turn and the shot by Burgess kicked off the leg pad. Another one with Morello in front, and we'll have another face-off yet again. And here comes Brown. Chris left side for Mayer. Brown with numbers. Mayer across. Maloney the shot! And allowed Savory time to move from his right to left. The big sophomore coming up with the stop. Left side towards center. Kicked away there by Nieto on the stick side. And the puck popping up. Linden leaving it in front, almost went off Crossman in net. And here come the engineers, they have numbers. DeGrande keeping it himself, drives a shot, it scores! Chris had jumped up, Ferrario was the only man back, and the engineers take a 1-0 lead. Nice snipe by Daniel DeGrande. Yeah, third goal of the season for DeGrande, and you called it, Mike. Luke Chris pinched up, nobody home defensively. Once that puck came out of the zone, it was basically a three on two rush. DeGrande just holding on and wristing it right past Nieto for the first goal of the game. Seconds left on the Dawson penalty. This may about do it as the puck comes all the way out to Zeke. Nice hit there by Ferrario and uh, Polino comes up with the puck, bears back to full strength. Polino right side gathers it himself right point Babichuk the drive and the save with 9.01 left in the period timeout on the ice five minutes left here in the second but, but Vinyl has seen action in just the one game against UNH Bears seem to be running around a bit Ferner in front shot there's a save from Gavin Nieto and that'll take us into a timeout and that is one Mike that the engineers Chase Zeke might want back Push back to Hallbauer, out ahead. Good look, Lee for Gornel. Gornel back to Lee! And it's saved by Nieto. Again, some of these chances getting uh, to be almost a little too easy for RPI, getting into the kill zone, you know, right between the circles there in the high. You know, that Harvard press box, one of the few that's directly behind the net, over there at the bright center. Off the iron! Todd Burgess whistles one off the pipe. Jatari and Stillwell drives a shot, tipped in front! And Savory closing down the wickets, and Coca taking a shot there at the t after the whistle. Yeah, a little bit of shenanigans after it. But there's oh, dump heady play by Linden. In numbers in front, scores! Jerry from Linden, and it's 2 nothing RPI. Well, you could kind of just feel the tide turning there. The Bears coming up empty on one end, and able to capitalize. For the second time this year, Billy Jerry, the junior out of River Falls, Wisconsin, comes up with a big goal for RPI. Found himself pretty open there, Mike, and Jerry able to just pick out that low corner. Cleared, here come the engineers. Empty net goal! Mike, Top shelf nonetheless. Mike Gornel makes it 3-0 with his fifth goal of the season. Yeah, it's just a matter of time. You felt like that RPI would be able to bust out of the zone and surely they did. You saw the patience that time, perhaps what they were discussing during that last time out. And Ornall makes it 3-0. His fifth goal of the season. They'll move to 4-1 and one, uh, since the turn of the new year. And for the Bears, it'll be their 10th straight loss. 7-6-1 and one in league play with the win tonight, and more significantly, as that one's played, it's scored! A little backhander, and get him the puck. James Crossman, it's academic, but it makes it three to one. Well, and that's maybe something the Bears could build off of heading into tomorrow night's clash with Union.